Hello, if you are working with data, anything that's related with data, most likely you're working with Microsoft or MySQL database engines. So it can, it can be Microsoft SQL or MySQL. So in my case, I was working with Microsoft SQL express version, but that's not the case in this time. And we have everything stored locally on our server. And that's quite convenient. You have everything like different systems and when database, everything is nicely connected. Now, we started to migrate to Microsoft Azure. And I got an issue. If you want to synchronize the data between your on-premises database with, with Azure databases, you have to have tables on your on-premises database with primary key. How to do the conversion? You can see the video top in the top right corner. I already made it. It's actually not that hard. But the thing is that I had some tables that were did not have any primary key because there were just not connected tables for our data analytics website, which, well, does not need connection. It just shows the charts and you need a separate tables for separate, separate charts and the stored procedures to update the data. And that's all. So I got an issue, I would say, that I have the data, the tables, everything is running fine, but there are no primary keys. And we want to place everything in Microsoft Azure but I don't want to destroy everything we have. That's not an option. I guess for you that might not be an option as well. So I find a way how to do, well, actually I decided to create a new tables, the same as the previous ones, that would have a primary key and that I would not need to do everything from scratch. So let's jump and see how to do that. It's not always the option to add the primary key on existing columns because you can add it on the date and some other columns, especially if they are different ones. So in my case, I decided to make them, well, a new primary key. So I have a scripts for the tables in here, this one. Let's take, for example, at this one. We have a table and we have, actually, I created a new SEMA for synchronization, I call it sync, so that it would be easy to recognize that this is the new tables with primary key. And I have created a new column called ID. Let's delete the comment. And we have some more tables in here as well. As you can see, they were created before and they've been using a different schema. But I want these new tables to be under sync. Schema. You can do that manually or you can do that even easier. Press Ctrl H on your keyboard. You will get a change window in here. Ctrl C this one, change it. Press replace all and those are replaced. So new tables will be created in new theme, the sync. Now we want to add that ID column would appear on the beginning of each table. ID is integer, not null obviously because ID cannot be null. And this is very important part, identity. What does identity means? It means that the primary key, that means numbers, one, two, three, four, and so on, will be created and added automatically. This way you can keep the structure you already have in your tables, columns and everything like that, and you would, would not need to type or add anything like additional scripts to add the numbers. They will be added automatically. That's why it's very important to add this part when creating this additional column or line. Let's paste this line in here in each of them. In this case, we'll have to do it manually. There is no replace button to add the 
additional column as this table is already created for my own experimenting purposes i will comment this one execute the procedure commands completed successfully refresh we will see seeing tables we have just created okay let's take this one for example remaining products and we can see it's empty let's find the table that is already created and we are using before so let's select this one let's select the first rows and here we have some kind of products and some digits this is the table the originally created table in scheme mm now let's go to a sync let's select top rows as well and we can see it's empty but it has additional one column and it's called id and now this table with the column id it can be sign synchronized to microsoft azure let's try to upload the data to this table here we have it let's delete the beginning insert into yes now we want to insert into this table if you want to insert the data you have to type the names of the columns in here as well and as you can see there is no id column in here let's execute and we can see that 116 roads were affected so let's go here we have this newly created table with id column at the beginning let's execute and here you go the same data with just id column at the beginning so this is how it's easy to make that your columns your tables would be created recreated with additional column with id column which is a primary key and if you watch or you're planning to migrate everything to azure like i did please consider maybe you want to have a separate database for that because quite a lot of additional tables will be created and it can be quite a mess if you have a nice structure and nice tables procedures and so on so if you're trying to recreate everything or something like this please consider that as well now the next step you can do if the data is refreshing just create a start procedure and make that it would run automatically every some time minute well minute maybe it's too much one hour two hours one day it doesn't really matter so you can have additional tables with additional column and you don't need to delete and recreate everything that's already created in your database how to run a stored procedure automatically on express version of microsoft server management studio you can find it here i have a video created about that as well so thank you for watching i hope this was useful please press smash that like button and don't forget subscribe button as well because well that's the only promo no not promotion that's the only way for me to know that you like the content i'm creating and that the people are interested in my content so thank you for watching and see you next time